I love that verse in Genesis chapter 30 and verse 1, um, which I often take out of context. And you're not supposed to do that, so don't do this at home. But uh, um, there's Rachel in Genesis chapter 30 is desperate to have a child. She sees her sister Leah having children, and she's desperate to have children, wanting to be a mother to the next generation. She's desperate. And finally she cries out, give me children or I'll die. Now I think this is what the church needs to be saying today. This is a sermon title for uh, people in our church. Give me children or I'll die. Because unless we reach the children, we will die. The churches will die. Anybody who's gone to the uh, gone to Europe, all the major cities of Europe, they'll always go visit the big cathedrals. St. Peter's in Rome, and Notre Dame in Paris, and Westminster in London, and El Duomo in Florence, and all these other great cathedrals. And they go and they admire the architecture and the wonderful stained glass windows. And it's just, you know, buildings that will hold 4,000 people, and they're empty. If you go there at the right time, you might find old guys like me with a gray beard maybe taking communion, but it's probably only 20 or 30 of them. The churches of Europe are dead. They didn't say, give me children or I'll die, and they died. And any church, this is the case for any church, unless they reach the children, they will die. So Rachel cries out, give me children or I'll die. That's what the church has to say as well. Now, it's interesting. Uh, just taking that passage a little bit further, did God answer Rachel's prayer, give me children or I'll die? He did. She had two children, Joseph and Benjamin. What, do we, what is it that we know about Joseph? Well, Joseph was, a, uh, he, he rescued his nation. God used him to, to be a savior for Israel. But one of the key things we know about Joseph was that he was a dreamer. And you know what? I often tell people, we need to pray for dreamers today. Here's Joseph. He gets a coat of many colors. But he says, take my coat. I don't care about my possessions. I care about my dream. He gets thrown into a pit. He says, you know, uh, I don't care about my circumstances. Dreamers don't care about their circumstances. They care about their dream. They care about their vision. Yes, take my coat, but keep my dream. And Joseph was a dreamer. I think we need to pray today for more dreamers. We need to pray for uh, children who will be dreamers because dreams can be powerful. Martin Luther King is known for one thing. He's known for a lot of things, but he's especially known. He said, I have a tank. No, that's not what he said. I have an army. You know, I have, you know, Lots of money or lots of weapons. That's not what he said. He said, I have a dream. And people knew that he was dangerous. Because dreamers can be dangerous. Dreamers don't care about their circumstances. They'll keep their, their dream and, and they can change a nation just like Joseph did. So like Rachel crying out in Genesis chapter 30, the church needs today to say, give me children or I'll die. And we need to have the faith to help, to hope for, and to pray for God to raise up a new nation of dreamers.